I'm drawing a more realistic version of Winnie the Pooh and Piglet. So I wanted to keep them a little bit stylized with the cartooniness. I didn't want to make them look like an actual bear and a pig completely. Because I figured doing that would kind of make them lose their character and their personalities. So I tried to make it a little bit of a blend between realistic and still cartoony. And in addition to that, I wanted to keep it with a soft feel, kind of like a storybook has, where there's no super harsh outlines. And I did that by using a brown ink instead of a black one. fun inking this piece in. I really liked giving Pooh's fur that really nice big bushy texture to it with this brown ink and as you'll see later on once I color him in his fur's got that golden tone and that blended in really nicely with this brown ink so it helped it blend and gave it more of a storybook feel. And if you're wondering I'm using uh, Micron pens in a 01 and a 05 size. And I think it just looks really nice overall. I really like the softer look that this kind of ink gives. And even with Piglet, too, I think he has a really, really nice, kind of soft, pastel almost vibe going to him. As I started coloring in the bark of the trees, I wasn't really sure what kind of texture I wanted to give them. Like, as you see here, I'm kind of giving it this sort of stripe coloring almost, which I wasn't too crazy with, so I didn't continue that with the other trees. But I've never really drawn super large foliage like there is in this piece, so a lot of this was just experimenting with what I liked and what I didn't like, and figuring out what worked, and trying to keep the natural streakiness of the markers and kind of tie that into how a tree's bark might look. And especially because I was keeping this piece sort of in between the typical Winnie the Pooh style and a more realistic, natural look, I think it ended up working pretty well. I like how it turned out. <laughs> One of my favorite things about this drawing is how the trees turned out with their leaves. Normally when I draw plants, I'll outline just a few of the leaves to kind of give it some texture, but for this drawing I didn't do that, and I think it really helped keep that storybook kind of feel. It made it look a lot softer and cohesive, and I think the blend looks really nice, especially when I add in 
this little touch of brown right here. I think it kind of gives it another dimension that normally wouldn't be seen how I would normally draw a plant. And here we're getting into my favorite part of coloring any drawing, 
is normally coloring in the main focal point, and in this case, it's blue and paleo. And I wasn't sure at first which colors I wanted to go for with Piglet, if I wanted to give him the little stripes he normally has, because naturally, when pigs don't have stripes, but tying in that blend of two different styles like I did with Pooh, I gave Piglet a faint sort of nod to that on his back. It's not super visible right now because my hand's blocking it, but he's got a couple little stripes just to make it recognizable as Piglet and not just a random pig. But coloring Pooh in is probably my favorite part of this whole piece. I really loved finding that nice blend between making him look yellow but not like fluorescent. So I used, I believe this is Canary Yellow and Goldenrod, which are two person color colors. And I really like how they blended. I think it looks really well and in a little bit you'll see me give him kind of a fur texture, which I wasn't too crazy about at first, but it grew on me. I think it gives him more volume and makes him look like he's a big old shaggy bear. <laughs> Like I was with Piglet, I wasn't sure if I wanted to give Pooh any sort of nod to the red shirt that he normally wears. I considered giving him a shirt, but I thought that would look too weird considering in this scenario he's a bear in the middle of the woods. And I just didn't think it would fit in well at all. So I considered giving him uh, maybe something around his neck or something near him to kind of give him. A, s a subtle nod to the red shirt that he normally wears, but in the end, I just ended up leaving it off and avoiding any kind of reference back to that shirt. So I thought it would stick out too much, which I'm glad I ended up doing that. I think it looks much better that way, and it doesn't make him seem more out of place than a big yellow bear would. <laughs> I know Piglet is already pink like an actual pig would be, but in addition to giving Pooh his yellow fur, I wanted to give them an action that would kind of help really show that this is Winnie the Pooh and Piglet. So I added the beehive up in the top left and posed them like they could be thinking about a way to get some honey down. I know I have lots of favorites, but this is my favorite animal art that I've made, and I make lots of art with people, but this is definitely my favorite animal art. <laughs> I love how the brown outlines turned out. I think it makes it look so much softer than black outlines normally would have. And I love how the colors pop, and you can tell it's Pooh and Piglet without it being blatantly obvious that it is them style-wise. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.